This is your local election headquarters. Politics, a federal judge has halted the Biden administration's pause on new approvals for natural gas exports. Of course, this is a big legal victory for proponents of LNG, or what's known as liquefied natural gas. U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy is one of those proponents. He joins me now via Zoom. Senator, thanks for coming on the show. Hey, Fred, thanks for having me. Good. It's a good topic to discuss. You bet. So let's get into it. My first question is the pause was announced or maybe even implemented, I'm not sure, back in January. Have no new exports, new exports gone out since January? Yeah, so the stuff that was already approved could still be shipped out or built. This is about things that were in the pipeline to be built in the future. Now, of course, when you're doing billion dollar projects and there are $61 billion in projects in Louisiana alone affected by this pause, when you have that, when you have that kind of money at stake, it doesn't happen like that. It happens because you have a process that begins and one project gets done and then you go to the next, you go to the next. This pause stopped that process. So it didn't affect things right now. It would have affected things a year, two years, and three years from now, and 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 we've got to think that far ahead. So this pause was obviously supported by uh, organizations uh, focused on climate change. They believe that uh, LNG and the exportation of, of LNG is possibly detrimental uh, to the environment. I believe the Biden administration has also had uh, some analysis done on that, but you don't believe that. You don't you don't think that's the case. That's totally wrong. The United States now in 2024, our emissions are lower than they were in 1988. Think about that, Fred. A bigger economy, 30 million more people, and our emissions are lower now. Why? Clean burning natural gas has replaced coal as uh, energy feedstock. If you go around the world taking clean burning U.S. natural gas and you burn that instead of German coal, uh, or Chinese coal. You're going to clean up the emissions in those countries too. The people that say this is bad for the environment, I mean, for them, upside is down and down is up because they're absolutely wrong. The reason that the U.S. has lower emissions is precisely because of natural gas. So the federal judge who um, made this decision and, and granted the stay uh, is federal judge uh, James Kane Jr. I just wanted to get your reaction to his comment because I, it appears that he agrees with you. He said, quote, it appears that the uh, Department of Energy's decision to halt the permit approval process for entities to export LNG to non FTA countries, I believe that's a free trade agreement countries, is completely without reason or logic and is perhaps the epiphany of idiocracy. So what, what's your reaction to that comment? I agree with that. There is no logic. If you're doing it because you're concerned about the environment, replacing coal with clean burning U.S. natural gas is good for the environment. Period. I mean, it's been proven over and over again. If you're worried about our economy, employing people making these $61 billion worth of projects is great for the economy. If you're worried about Russia, the fact that the Germans would buy our natural gas instead of Russian natural gas, which, by the way, they pollute when they produce their gas, uh, it strengthens our economy, not Russia's economy. I could go down the list of positive reasons why we should be exploring for, producing, and exporting U.S. liquefied natural gas. Uh, the Biden administration ignored all that. I think it's probably because he's behind in the polls and he had to do something to show his environmental left. He was, you know, all on their side. I want him to be on the side of the U.S. worker. So Louisiana was one of uh, more than a dozen states who filed a lawsuit over this. Um, I'm, just, I'm just curious to know, um, what you think about the legal battle? This this is a stay, and it's it's good news if you're for LNG. But will this legal battle continue? It'll go to the uh, Fifth Circuit Court. But if a district court judge and, and James Cain is good, he's one of my nominees. He's good. If he's finding such a total lack of justification for what the administration is doing, that's kind of a you know I'd, I'd put my money on that when it goes to the Fifth Circuit, and the Fifth. The circuit based in New Orleans will look at this and say, well, 
I don't see a reason for it either. So I feel good about where it will go in the court system. Uh, and therefore, I feel good about these projects getting built and those workers being employed. I think Judge Kane has a, a similar outlook in uh, the, the wording of, of his opinion when he issued that stay. All right, Senator Cassidy, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Fred.